Okay, so this is the pot that I put my ginger in that I'm growing indoors. Um, it was the only thing I had available and I had another plant in here, but it died. I've had that, I had that plant for like four years. Um, it was part of my grandfather's funeral uh, arrangements uh, when he passed away. So I was so hurt when it just, it just quit on me. I mean, I just, I didn't know what else to do. So I'm repurposing this pot, um, which still reminds me of him because this came from, um, um, his funeral as well, but he would be proud because I am growing ginger in this. So I'm again, trying to propagate it. Um, y'all can see the little, um, green that's coming up here. I have two other, you know, three, three other nodes inside of there, but this is the greenest and it's the one that's actually sticking out the most. So I got a tip uh, yesterday because I felt like this was just moving so slowly and, I felt like the, the soil, I couldn't keep it, I can't keep it, I'm scared to overwater because there's not holes in the bottom of this pot, but I also feel like I'm not watering it enough. So I was just asking for tips, tips and oh my gosh, I will leave her page in the description, but I can't even think of your name right now. Oh my goodness. Anyway, she is growing ginger indoors or has and was very successful. So she said, make sure that your soil is moist and then... Oh, I hate that word. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But make sure that your uh, soil is damp and then maybe put some plastic wrap over top of it because ginger is uh, likes humidity. And I was like, you're not going to believe this. I don't have any plastic wrap. But I got these dome, plastic domes at the Dollar Tree. It came uh, three to a pack for a dollar. So I'm just going to uh, kind of spray this down real, real good where those nodes are popping out at. And then I'm going to um, put this dome over top of it and see if I can get some humidity there. And I'm going to leave it in the window to see how much the humidity uh, uh, kind of does. And then if it doesn't work, I'm going to move it to where I have a heat vent in my office where the other plants are that I've propagated. So I'm just going to place it on top just like that. I may put some tape on each side because my daughter likes to look and just so she doesn't knock it off. But I'm going to see how that works. Listen up. Once again, don't knock it till you try it. Okay? Dollar Tree is on some stuff. They got some things going on. But look. Y'all see what this is? For one dollar. One dollar at the Dollar Tree. And it has the wheels on the bottom. Right? Don't know how long this is going to last. But I'm just saying... For us that are getting started, okay, or anybody that wants to just save a little bit of money, don't go spend $15 or whatever it is on these little uh, planter trolleys, okay? Just hit up your Dollar Tree. They're not paying me to say that, by the way. I just want to point that out. I'm just trying to help empower everyone that wants to start gardening but don't have a lot of money, okay? Like me. I was that person. I'm still that person. You know, I just learned, which I wish I would have learned 10, 15 years ago when I started college, um, the the value of a dollar, okay? And, and not only the value of a dollar, but the value of keeping one or two or three every once in a while. Just saying. Well, good thing I noticed it before I um, took it out of the sink. Where my duct tape at? I'm going to put this duct tape here, though. This is going, just going to be temporary. Just temporary until I fix something else out. Okay? Yeah, stay with me. Stay with me. Boom! Leakage? Nada. Wait. Is there leakage from the bottom too? Oh! All right, so I'm just going to, I have some seedlings inside that have sprouted and are showing the first true leaves. I have growed, uh, grew their first true leaves. Lord, I can't talk. Um, and so now I'm going to start to give them a little bit of fertilizer. Um, I use the infamous Alaska fish fertilizer or fish emulsion. Um, and so you're supposed to mix, let's see, into teaspoons per gallon two for vegetables bedding plants bulbs annuals two tablespoons per gallon um I, this is a gallon and a half this red 
uh, watering can um, and I'm I found this so I washed it out and I'm gonna put it in here and that's gonna be for my plants for the house what I don't use I'm just gonna um, not be able to store in this so uh, I poured out some of the water but it's still leaking out so I'm just gonna do like a half a cap full um, maybe yeah uh, maybe a half maybe a little less than a half just to f for this container this is what 52 ounces there's a uh, hundred and twenty eight ounces I think of, of uh, fluid ounces uh, that equals a gallon so you know um, I'm gonna do a little math but just like less than a half this stuff stinks I don't care what anybody say um, and it doesn't look that great either I don't know if y'all can see that on camera but it's terrific it's terrific for your garden for your plants Ooh, it's so slimy look at that okay so that's what fish emulsion looks like <laughs> and to be all honest i think that's all i'm gonna need maybe i should have shook it up a little bit so i'm gonna I'm do this and then come back so there it is kind of looks like lemonade <laughs> But it's not, I promise. But when people say, uh, beginner gardeners, when they're uh, talking about a water-soluble fertilizer, that's what they're talking about, okay? It's like a liquid that you just put in. There's all different types. I use the Alaska Fish Fertilizer or Fish Emulsion. Again, um, I found this on sale, a big bottle. It costs like $35, $37, something like that. And I got it for uh, $9, I think is what I got. I told y'all earlier in, in another video, but um, this is good stuff. I really do like it. So I'm not going to actually water because I water my plants at night. I just don't want um, them to get any type of burn on their leaves or scorched, especially my guys that are under the grow light all right, in the grow box over there. And so I water at nighttime after I shut everything down. There's no more um, light coming in the window or early in the morning when there is no uh, sun or the sun is not as bright and so uh, but basically all you would do is lift this up if you um and this will catch the water um i water from the top like with a spritz bottle um until my seedlings come up and then fill the tray to about here um you can eyeball it but you definitely don't want the water spilling out so just to about here uh with my water uh whatever else you want to put in it and then you let the soil kind of whisk it up um, until the top of the soil is dark um, and that's it and then you pour off the remaining water I wouldn't let uh, the the you know the cells or the you know plants sit in water but I would just pour that off so that's how you bottom water beginning garters. It's been cool, real, all of that hanging out with y'all. And I will talk to y'all soon. Love y'all. Bye.